Hey guys, my name is Fabe and welcome back to another episode of the Dinosaur Mine. So, my sword broke. And I decided, let's start this episode off with a little bit of an enchanting spree. So, I've been AFKing here for a little while, lots of spiders spawning in. Let's go downstairs and check out the result. Holy crap, that's a lot of spiders. Give some potions ready? Nope. Um, okay, let's lock this off. Let's start crushing them. And in the meantime, it should be a bad ready. Let's see if it works now. I tried fixing it again. Yep, seems like it should work. Alright, let's try this. And like incoming. Lots of dead spiders. Alright, here we go, guys. Level 30. Let's go for a diamond sword first, I'd say. Boop. And come on. There we go. Oh, lapis? I don't need lapis yet. Haha, <laughs> 1.7. Sharpness 4. Not the worst, not the best. Unbreaking would have been nice, but sharpness 4 will definitely do uh, a nice job. Alright, let's go on. Looks like the next batch is ready. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I finally decided to put some hoppers down below. Um, let's see if the collection of items works nicely. Is everyone in here? Alright, lockdown. Crusher and potion time. This thing works really well. I'm really, really happy with uh, how it turned out. And poop. All dead. And all the items should be collected by these hoppers that you can see now. Let's see if that's gonna be enough for level 30. I don't know. I still haven't quite figured out how, how long I have to wait to get enough spiders for that. Here we go, level 30, and let's check this out. There's our chest down here. I might install an item elevator later, but it was just enough to get some hoppers around the corner. And I guess it's okay for now. It collects the stuff, especially the string is nice to get some white wool. Um, definitely very, very useful. And I just hit it with some uh, carpenter's trapdoors. All right, level 30 again. Let's, what should we go for? You know what? Let's go for some boots. I don't think we ever had some proper boots um, in this in this world, and I would love to have some nice boots. Let's see if luck's on our side. Hey, that's not too bad. I mean, feather falling is hopefully gonna help me with all my fall deaths a little bit. Um, fire protection, meh. Could have been better, but definitely feather falling is gonna be awesome. Okay, this time I took note. We have about 160 cave spiders down there. So let's see. Oh, let's first of all, let's stop this. Stop this. And uh, let's see if that will be enough to get me to level 30. Last time I didn't quite get to level 30, which is a little bit short. Um, okay. Let's wait, let's wait. Don't get ahead of ourselves here with this potion. Everyone in? Everyone made it in who wanted to get in? All right. Very good. Lockdown. Potion time! Well, 160 is not enough, so I guess we'll have to go for 170 next time. Going for a pickaxe this time. Ah, come on! This time we have 170. In case you don't know how I see this, there's a little E up here if you hit the F3 menu. And the 246 is the total entities loaded in the world right now. And the 170 are the ones that are within this view window of yours. So we got 170 here. Let's see how far this will get us. Looks... Aha! Come on! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Maybe two or three spiders short. I cannot believe it that it let me sit on 29 levels like that. Try now a luck with another pickaxe. Ah, and again? I can't believe it. What's my luck today? Man. Three times a charm, right? <laughs> what is wrong with this enchantment table? Unbelievable. Like how many of these pickaxes could I possibly use? Maybe changing it up gives us some luck. Let's try a chest piece. Ooh, 
thorns. Unbreaking three, very good. Protection three could have been a little bit better. I don't know if I like thorns. It will wear down a lot faster. I'm... Just because I have a chest piece now doesn't mean I'm going to wear it. I might wear it on a special occasion, but uh, not right now. One last try at a pickaxe, but then... Uh, that's not even slightly better. Paleontology, I have so many of those already. Man, th today is really not our lucky day. That was a waste of diamonds, mostly. But, you know what, guys? I definitely had enough of enchanting today. Uh, let's turn that off, too. Just in case. Gather a whole bunch. Oh, you know what? I should grab a couple of these arrows, actually. Let's do that real quick. Uh, half a stick should be fine for now. Left some XP here, because I reached level 30 early. Let's gather those. Let's open this back up, so we are ready to receive more spiders next time. And I should probably close this off back there. I repaired uh, the potion system earlier. Uh, yeah, so everything is done here now. Everything is worked out. Everything is fixed. We got the hoppers in there. We got a chest full of stuff down here. So for the world download, you know one thing is still, still missing here. This place is still not perfectly lit in a way that makes sense. So I might have to do that. Eh, not today. I've almost given up on this elevator now, unfortunately. It doesn't seem to work very well. So, I'm usually using the ladders back here. Which is unfortunate, it was a lot of work building this elevator in here, and it worked so nicely when, when we first had it. But, yeah, it's been a while since it's worked completely reliably. So, I don't know what to do. I don't want to get rid of it. I guess the couch elevator would be a lot more convenient and a lot more smaller, but I don't want to really tear this one out. Anyways, let's go out here because I want to show you what I did at the witch farm. So you guys really seem to like the, the blimp, which made me really happy. You got a lot of really awesome comments, so thank you guys for that. And this is what I did with the, with the couch. It's a little hard to see right now. Let's get a little bit closer. So we can get a better look at it from here. So I decided that I was going to use the carpenter's vertical half slabs after all to make this. I basically just connected the sides now and I was going for a little bit of a, a rope ladder design. Of course the steps are really far apart but it's, it's probably the best we could kind of come up with. So I filled it in with black wool so it fits the couches. And it looks like one solid piece of whatever it is. So it definitely connects it up. I don't, I don't know. It's not bad. And I don't really know anything that's better than that. What bugs me a little bit is when I go up here. It kind of blocks the view of the blimp. Before, when I went up here, I could see the blimp getting bigger and bigger. I also added a couple more couches back here. I think these look really, really awesome. I don't know why, but I love how these three couches look in the back there. Especially without the armrests, because of the stairs here. For some reason, they fit in there really, really well. Uh, also, someone asked why I don't do a 3 by 3 water drop here. And the reason is, as soon as I place a block next to this water source, it's gonna get updated and the water's gonna flow down everywhere. So that's not possible. It's gotta be a 1 by 1 water source block that's floating there. But, uh, as you can see... I got quite a bit of resources already, so I don't think I'll have to go AFK for a while. I guess the glowstone is what will run out first, but it seems like the probability... Well, sticks seem to drop more commonly. Could take some of those. Sticks are always useful. But everything else... How did a skeleton die there? Where? How? What? <laughs> I have no idea how this happened. I'm gonna take the arrows and... Yeah, don't need the bones. We have a skeleton farm for that. So... It's done. It's done. It's done for the world download. At least. I don't know if we're gonna tweak something later. But I think it turned out really well. I'm really, really happy with the Switch farm. So... I guess the rest of today's episode... I wanna try... And work a little bit on the hotel lobby in particular and also maybe start decorating some of the rooms 
Mod-wise, let's talk mods real quick again. Still, Bibliocraft is on top of my list, and if we should get Bibliocraft, I will probably not decorate the hotel rooms before we get that. Because then, we can jump into the Bibliocraft by decorating all the hotel rooms with some Bibliocraft furniture. Which is a lot, I think, a lot nicer than the crayfish furniture. There's, there's a lot of good cray- oh. Is it still dark here? I thought I lit the lab up a little bit. I don't think I showed you that too. I went through the lab and tried to find all the dark spots because you guys know that we have tons and tons of mobs spawning here usually. But I placed, I hit some more carpenter's blocks in the, in the floor and added some glowstone to them. So it should be a lot better at least down here now. As you can see upstairs there's still some dark spots. But hey. Wouldn't it be boring without a, a creeper in my lab every now and then, huh? <laughs> Anyways, what I want to do today, at least for the for the hotel, is let me show you. Let me get some some carpenters blocks going. Doop, and that should be good enough for now. Let's get some carpenter's beds going. I know that you guys- oh, they stack, very nice. I know that you guys have been bugging me a lot about these carpenter's beds and you always ask, uh, Fabe, why are you using normal beds? You should use carpenter's beds. They look way cooler. And I probably agree. The thing that bugs me with these- I'm not gonna sleep in there right now, by the way, because if I do and then die and get rid of it before I'm gonna spawn hundreds and hundreds of blocks away at spawn. They look a lot nicer, and I'm pretty sure you can dye them, which is cool. Uh, but I'm always afraid that they are a little bit glitched when it comes to spawning in them. So that's why I usually use the normal bats for my spawn points at least. But yeah, I'm gonna craft some more of those. Can I craft them with other wool? I have still lots of black wool here. Let's see. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's just try it out real quick. I can, and they give me also the normal ones, so I probably have also to gather a whole bunch of dye to get all these beds dyed. 11 seems like a good start. So we're gonna place those, and I'm also thinking about... Should I get some more concrete? I think I have a little bit more here. Yep. Maybe, maybe I have some more in the chest at the hotel. Let's also bring some marble with us, because that's something we started using in the lobby a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna sleep real quick and I'm gonna meet you over at the hotel lobby. I'd say, let's start by building a couple of fountains here. I know that some of you suggested that a while ago, and I never got around to actually doing it, so let's see. This is the center, this is the center... Oops, oh, I, I always forget that the sprinting is, or the 20% the speed boost on these, on these uh, concrete blocks. All right, let's give it a frame, like that. Uh, boop. Fountains is always something very interesting for me. At the same time, it's, it's hard to come up with new designs, because most things have been done more than once in the past. All right, so that's gonna be the top. It's not gonna be something super fancy because we don't have too much space here, but I want something nice that greets people when you get in here. Um, yeah, let's do that. That should be more than enough space to walk by. Uh, let's do this side too. Boop, boop. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted. Hammer time. The hammer is almost broken again. I don't have any iron, I don't think. I used it all for the hoppers. All right, let's see if we can make it happen. Doop. It's not completely symmetrical because this building is uh, has an even number of blocks here and an odd number here. But I think that should... Oh, am I really out? Okay, let's go up to our crafting table. I never remember if I showed you all this, but I started uh, planting grass everywhere in the in the house further upstairs too. I don't know if I, I probably did that off camera, but I don't remember if I showed you on camera. Like here, boop. I'm gonna probably have some tall flowers and stuff growing here. And there's some dirt still exposed that I have to work with. But I filled all the gaps with grass pretty much. And I also filled in all the the bubble glass panes. 
everywhere where a safety rail is needed. At least I think everywhere. So the hallways should be pretty much done. I don't know, I might have missed a, uh, some places. But so far, so good. And one here, all right. I think that's a nice little pattern that keeps it interesting. So let's fill that all in. And now the tough part is getting the water to flow where we want it to, because if the water hits here, it's just gonna overflow. Um, so I found out that if you put uh, fences on these sides, uh, actually let's do it like this. I hope this is gonna... Where's my bucket? Why do I, oh, I know I have lapis on me, but where's my bucket? I thought I always had my bucket on me. I don't even have iron. Man, that's a pain. Is there any chance? No, it would have surprised me. Crap! Now I gotta get a bucket. All right, got my bucket. So the trick is to block the water from flowing down here, but to not update it when you get rid of these blocks. Um, I can't reach it, can I? That should help me. Okay, number one, boop. Looks okay, so this is blocking the water from flowing down here, but if I break it, uh, since it is not adjacent to this block immediately, it's not gonna update the water flow. And so it's not gonna flow out of there, although it could, in theory. That's what we're working here with. And if we do the same thing on the, you know what, let's fill in down here first. So we can see that everything is nice and filled up. Doop, and over there. Now we can take this one out, create another source block. And we got a source block here, and a source block there. And now we should be almost good. There's one missing right here. All right, now everything should be source blocks. Uh, let's grab one more and place it on top of it. Right there. And then we're gonna get rid of these. And we're gonna get rid of this one. And I think there's only these two left. Doop, doop. Do I have all six? I do have all six. Dirt block gone. Fountain. Done. As I said, nothing too fancy, but still something with a nice structure where you can see the blocks on the inside and the water flowing over the, over the edge. And also a nice little bit of a rim here with a little bit of detail, not just plain blocks. So I think that's a pretty decent size and you can walk past it very, very easily. Uh, blocks the view a little bit from the other window, but to be honest, there's not much of a view anyways right now. The question is now, do I want to have the same fountain over here or should that be something that's only on one side of the of the hall? I think I want to have it on the other side as well. Symmetry demands it and then we would have to run around it just in case, which I, I think I told you guys that I plan on building a bridge over to this ledge. Um, we will have to walk around it, but that should be fine. It shouldn't be too much. Let's try it over here real quick. We come in here. Gotta run around it. Yeah, that's totally fine. Alright, let me replicate this. Let's check out what these beds look like. What I've always wondered is, do they connect? They do connect! Very awesome. Man, that is really, really cool. That makes for some nice double beds, I believe. I brought some colors here. I want to try out what purple looks like. Aw. Oh, that's how you do it. Ooh. Ah, that's that's a strong one. I think it's a little bit too strong for my taste. Um, what does blue look like? Lapis blue. Boop. Why are these colors so strong? I wish I could desaturate them a little bit. That would be so nice. I don't know, we might have to go with the gray after all. I thought some color would be nice, but this might be too strong. Let's try red. Well, red is pretty. <laughs> red works because that's a normal bad color normally. And I don't know, should we, can I do that too? Let's make this purple. Oh my God! You can do that too, that's right. Uh, I don't... Can I please... No? Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, 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 no. What we should try out is some sprucey wood. Uh, how about these ones? What would that look like? Boop. 
Nice. That looks pretty decent. Maybe... Oh, oh, no, no, no. You know what? That looks nice for... For a... Um, old school bed. But no, no, no. We want to do some modern look, don't we? We should try something smooth. Uh, wireframe? <laughs> Just have it randomly on me. What would that look like? Nah. No. But I like the black. What if we get like a completely... What kind of black blocks do we have? We do have the volcanic rock, which is not bad. We c Black wool has the weird wool structure. That would just make it really hard to distinguish from the from the um, blanket and stuff. What else could we use? Coal blocks? Nah, there's gotta be something else. What if we... Hmm. Let me get some materials here to try out. Let's try out the volcanic rock first. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I want to compare to, actually, the normal wooden planks, but with a twist. With some black dye. Oh, that's really black. Oh my god, I can't even see... I guess you can see it a little bit. I like that, actually. I think I'm gonna go for that black. That's a really, really deep black. And also, it's a lot easier to come by. Just some uh, planks and some ink sack. Let's try this again. Yeah, that looks really cool and really, really modern. So, I also had some light blue dye uh, lying around that I wanted to try out. Boop. I don't know about that one. Huh. It definitely adds color. It's a lot less intense than the dark blue. So it might work out. I also brought some grays that I wanted to try. So let's try these two before we make up our mind. And I... Oops, no. There we go. Yeah, that looks really nice. Nice and modern and neutral. Of course. Gray usually works. That was light gray. Let's try out dark gray too. That also works really, really well. It keeps a nice modern look. Alright, uh, I guess I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. What do you think? Light gray, gray, a completely different color. We could also... I don't think there's any other color that's not so intense. There's lime green, but lime green is it's by itself really, really intense. Not like light blue. Um, and what else is there? Magenta, pink is also very, very intense. Brown, meh. Don't really care for brown. Trying to look outside to remember all the 16 colors that are in Minecraft. Yellow's too intense, most likely. So, I guess those are our main options here. Let me know what you think. Even white is not too bad, I'd say. Could, could go with it, but I prefer one of the grays. Light blue wasn't that bad either. And as I said, the rest of the rooms will probably be done with uh, the bibliocraft in mind. That should help us out. But yeah, I love that dark, that black look for a bed. Maybe because my own bed uh, was black, like blackened wood. Or black, uh, black colored, like just painted over the wood. And I always thought it would look really nice. I think I, my bed was usually red. Oh, let's try this. Wait, where did the red go? Did I leave? Oh, I left it. Ha, huh. that's unfortunate. But yeah, my bed used to be red and then it had the black black wooden um, support, I guess. So that looked nice. That might look nice too here. I might try it out. But uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, okay, for completion's sake, that's what it looks like with the red dye. Pretty nice, pretty nice, but it might be too close to vanilla. Anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna call it an episode for today. We got a little bit of stuff done. We got a lot of enchanting done, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, we're getting close to the world download, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Anyways, I'll hope to see you all again in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day, and seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.